when you walk through the property, you might identify, you know, things that you want to take care of maybe next year or budget for to take care of next year, like a new deck or painting the exterior of the property or upgrading the appliances, as an example. Mm -hmm. So the rule of thumb that a lot of people know is you need to budget about 1% of your property's approximate value for repairs and capital improvements. But we actually did a deep dive study of about three years worth of data because that didn't sound right for the portfolio we managed, homes vary anywhere a million up to $4 million. We're like, well, that's a lot of money. Lot of money. So we actually did a deep dive into our numbers to see how much are our clients actually spending on maintenance. And what it came out to is about half a percent. So the rule of thumb that we're putting out there is if you own a property that let's call it 500,000 or less, then you're probably closer to that half a percent of that property's value annually to be budgeted for repairs and CapEx. But if you own a higher end rental property above that number, you want to be looking at more like half a percent. Did I say half a percent? One percent. So if it's under 500, half a percent of it's over. There's probably a gray area in between, but these are approximate numbers that annually you want to take the time to look at. What did I spend on my property this year? What did I bring in? How much am I making? What's my forecasted revenue? My forecasted rent increases, my forecasted property value acceleration, and how much do I need to be saving to save up for these big ticket items like you mentioned, like a roof, like a water heater repair, like a kitchen upgrade.